Since 1994, the economy has been grappling with the triple challenges of unemployment, uh, inequality and, and poverty. The latest Statistics South Africa figures, they show that unemployment rate is sitting at 27.1%. And if you were to disaggregate that unemployment rate, you realize that it's the youth that are unemployed. So it appears instead of creating more jobs, we are losing more jobs in a number of sectors. It's only the, 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 the service sector that seems to be uh, contributing to, to employment creation. Our education system at the current moment is not able to um, produce a lot of skilled individuals or skilled labor force that will be absorbed by, by, by the service sector. So it's, it's one of the areas that we're battling with. But as an economy, uh, we are investing a lot in, in education. If you have seen uh, lately the, the amount that has been allocated to, to our education, to address challenges that are within the, the higher education space. It shows that as an economy, we're taking serious the issue of education. We need to relook really look uh, strategies that are there within the education system to ensure that maybe within the basic education, we ensure that we, we increase uh, literacy, the ability of, of students at, at, at lower level to be able to read and write. So that's where the foundational phase that we, we, we need to focus on. Within the, the education sector, it's the issue of funding. We have seen in the last couple of uh, months, students within universities or the higher education sector, they've been asking for government to give them free education, of which as government, um, we have managed to make commitments in terms of saying, we, we could uh, address the missing middle, that is uh, people that were not uh, accessing uh, the NEFSAS, which is people within the threshold of whose parents are getting around 600,000 per, per annum. At the current moment, uh, the, the current proposal speaks to that. So we are working towards that, but we are also asking for, for private sector to work with us so that we can be able to allocate more resources to higher education. Thank you.